If you were here for the custom song tutorial, please skip to the timestamp on the screen. Howdy y'all! I've never been a master musician myself. I'm a cowboy chord guitarist and first chair level trombone player, so I know my way around music a decent amount. Have I ever played a drum kit though? Well, not in any way that someone would want to listen to. But maybe Paradiddle VR has the training and kit to get me over the edge. Paradiddle aptly named after a four-stroke drumming technique, was released as an early access VR game in October of 2017 on Steam, focused on becoming the drum kit of VR. At that time, no song mapping was around. It was largely just focused on people being able to adjust different drums around in a comfortable manner, upload custom sounds like cover audio and drum sound, and jam out in your own quiet VR space. Massive quality improvements led to the game's general release this November to Steam and Quest App Lab with advanced MR recording options, new percussive equipment, and a rhythm game-like option called Song Highway. When you hop into Paradiddle for the first time, you are in a picturesque room with a beautiful water biome sitting outside your wall-sized windows. This is one of the four beautiful drumming setups that you can build in. More on that a little later. Once inside, the game has you learn the primary two controls, building the kit and drumming on the kit. Building is the first step. You take the drums, cymbals, or percussive equipment and place it around you in a comfortable spot. If you don't know what to do, the game slowly builds out from a snare and a hi-hat to more and more equipment through a slew of drumming tutorials in theory and practical skill. These aren't to the level of a private drum lesson with a professional, but they do allow you to get intimately acquainted with the core equipment. Once you are set up, you can just rock out if you already know what you're doing, but for us more beginner folks, they take you through it. With the snare and the hi-hat, you get introduced to the song highway, which which is a Guitar Hero-like visual to show you where and when to hit the drums. Alongside cymbals and normal drums, there is the question of the bass drum. It's an integral part of any drummer's kit and is not missing here. If you don't have any equipment, the controller trigger or buttons can be used to activate it. And if you do have pedal equipment, then you can hook that up to be used in tandem with the game. I'll be sure to post a link to these instructions down in the doobly-doo. When it comes down to the simulation quality, this game absolutely kills it. It gives you all the software pieces that you didn't realize you needed or aren't able to build yourself. With that, you can immediately be immersed in a jam session with no need for extra downloads or equipment. However, it's the ability to bring those audio downloads and equipment in that really make Paradiddle the game that it is. You can upload custom sounds to adjust the way every piece of equipment sounds, in case you want to produce something unique as well as bring in outside music to play along on in the song highway or just jam out to relentlessly. There are loads of little trinkets that I feel people should know about as well. Marimbas, bongos, triangles, the list goes on. Now when it comes to a rhythm game experience, this is where the game lacks. The song list is very short, maxing out at 10 total tracks that you play up to four levels of difficulty on. There are excellent song choices, and the playing is a ball, but 10 tracks is not worth the game money if you aren't here primarily for the kit simulation ability. However, some of the best content outside of the custom and simulation content is the four environments that come along with the game. All of them are so well done and detailed, well, Except for the void environment where you're just playing on top of a sound visualization in empty space. But trust me, it works really well. The dojo is the one you open into that I explained before. Alongside that is a New York style jazz room colored red and a trip to a different planet in space where you can see the moon and stars behind picturesque pillars. You know, that's the second time I've used picturesque in this script. Maybe we should change things up a bit. <laughs> but we're not going to. And what good would these beautiful environments be if you couldn't show it off? The game comes with third person and first person views that are customizable with an in-game camera changer. You can see here that I was able to use the camera to change the output angle of my recording. I grabbed this directly with OBS and if you integrate Live, you can show yourself off in the world using mixed reality, which is honestly pretty cool. So, Let's say you purchase Paradiddle, played the existing maps, and are now wondering if you can get custom maps uploaded to your own game. The answer is yes. Now, there are lots of customization options for creating tracks or uploading exclusively cover songs, but this is going to be focused on fully put together packs, things that come with the drum audio and the song highway. The Paradiddle community is a strong niche group and a small unit of them run a database of existing Paradiddle maps at paradb.com. 
K-U-M-O dot dev. Here you can search for a song, artist, mapper, or rating to make your decision. Once you've made your decision, download the map from the website. This will be in a zip file that contains a RLRR file for each difficulty map and then sound files for the song and kit itself. Once you have that zip file, bring it over into the paradiddle folder that exists in your documents. You're going to want to unzip the file into the song folder. The folder needs to maintain the exact same name as the zip file that it came with it, as you can see here. Once you dive back into the world of paradiddle, you can open up the song section of your menu. The custom songs will now appear on the second tab on the left of the menu. Now you're good to play those songs. Rock out, my friend. I think this game often gets lost in the VR conversation due to its riding the line of a VR rhythm game and a VR simulation game. At its true base, this is a simulation game, and the price definitely reflects that on the Steam store at $25 USD and $20 USD on Quest's App Lab. The simulation experience is phenomenal, and the customizability really allows you to make the kit, the sounds, and the world all your own. Do you know how to play the drums and want to just jam out to your own custom beats? Or are you interested in learning to play the drums in a way that allows you to gain real life experience without having to purchase all of the equipment yourself? Then this is the game for you. If you are here looking for a drumming rhythm game that teaches you as much about drums as Rock Band does, then you should instead be looking at Ragnarok or Smash Drums for that fix. Well. Let me know your thoughts on Paradiddle in the comment section, and of course, leave a like if you found this information helpful. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate your time and viewership. If you would like to join the community, I host monthly VR tournaments and community nights in my Discord. I would love for you to stop by, say hi, and get involved. On top of that, we are always talking about new news and events in social and casual sport VR. I look forward to seeing you around.